Hi, how are you doing? Today, we're going to review Meraki Gardens. I just purchased two pre-rolls from Meraki Gardens. Basically, I'm not going to get the shop involved that I bought it from because they just sell the product. They don't roll this and they don't grow it. This is all on Meraki Gardens. Hate to say it, Meraki. I was trying to find your web page. Couldn't get to it. I wanted to talk to you guys to... Just, how do you put this? It was absolute crap. I am old enough, 52 by the way, I'm old enough to have lived through the 80s and smoked bags of shake. Shake, for those who don't know, is basically leaves from the marijuana plant. It's not even the bud. It's actually just leaf. So, when I say that this is absolute crap, both of those pre-rolls, that's what I mean. All I tasted when I lit those things was shake. And here's the thing, Meraki Gardens. I know, and it, unfortunately, it, it is, it's a woman's company. It's all run by women. God bless them. But, and this has no reflect on that at all. Please, I don't see sex. I only see quality, okay? I don't lift people's skirts when I ask them what they do for a living, right? Or test the product. I don't know, I drink wine. I'm like, was this made by dick or vagina, right? You know, I don't do that. But unfortunately, their pre-rolls are shit. And here's the problem I can see. is somewhere along the line, somebody decided to get as much as you can out of the product you have in order to make money. See, here's the problem. Quality control is important. When you break open your Meraki um, Gardens pre-rolls, there should be bud in that, not leaf. You shouldn't have stem and leaf in any of your pre-rolls. It, think of it as if you were to roll your own. Would you smoke stem? Would you smoke leaf? Would you smoke seed? No, you wouldn't. These are important things not to be putting in your body. And you smoking it's bad enough with you know what I mean without actually needing extra things that you know, I don't smoke twig. I don't smoke wood. I'll burn wood, but I won't smoke it, okay? Not on purpose anyway. So this is my review of Meraki Gardens, and unfortunately it's not a good one because you know, yeah, I would love to have cheered them on and said, yes, it's an amazing pre-roll and it's, it's quality. And, and you know, like, what are you going to get for five bucks? But here's the problem with that $5 joint. Your name, Meraki Garden, should be something of quality. You want people to say that, they're, pff, that's the go-to. That's where you go, first thing. And I'm a guy, so I'm not going to be a part of your company, but maybe you might want to hire somebody to do some quality control. Just saying. And that way, my next review of you can be something more spectacular. Anyways, and I will say at a side note, I've had them before. But, and I, like I said, I, I was giving them a chance. It had been a couple of years since I do it. I usually just roll my own because I've, I've never trusted um, pre-rolls. And I've been, I've been using medical marijuana for the last 10 years. And I, I avoid pre-rolls like the plague, but they've gotten better. And I actually have, uh, I bought a pre-roll from the, the company that I just purchased Meraki's from, and it's amazing. And it's totally a different company, though, and I'm not going to put them in this video. Anyways, this is just a review of Meraki Gardens and their pre-rolls. It was the Doctor Who and the Fresh Powder, and that's all I'm going to leave it. It, it. I couldn't tell the difference between them when I broke them up. They were just, all I see is, like, orange leaf. It was ridiculous. Anyway. So they need to work on their quality control. That way, you know, eventually you're going to go global, babe. Eventually you're going to be able to ship across state line and you want to get that quality going. You want to keep that. You want that name. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Okay,